Hello. I know I've been gone for like three weeks or a month. I think it's been a month. Oh my gosh. So many things have just been happening in my life. Good things. Uh, my husband and I just moved into a new house. We're still renting. We didn't buy or anything, but we just moved. So we were in a townhouse, but now we're in an actual house, which is nice because I am 14 weeks pregnant. <laughs> so our baby is due in July, the end of July. So it's just perfect. A three-bedroom house, two bathrooms is just perfect for what is, you know, gonna happen in our near future. That's more or less why I've been gone so long, so I do apologize. And I do appreciate those of you who have, you know, said they missed me or just, you know, just commented asking where I've been. And I don't know, I really appreciate the kind words. It's it's kind of nice to be missed. I mean, I don't know, I only have like, what, 100, 150 subscribers? You know, I didn't think that people would actually notice that I was not filming. So um, it's really cool, those of you who reached out to me and, you know, mentioned that you missed me and the content that I upload. So it's really cool. So thank you to those of you who who actually missed me. I'm trying not to buy makeup unless I absolutely have to. Says the girl who just bought the new Kristen Dominique palette three days ago. So I, I'm not that true to my word when it comes to saying that I'm not gonna buy makeup. So yeah. And let me know if you want me to do a review on that palette. I'm more than likely going to do a review. So yeah, that's more or less why I have not been uploading. It's just been a busy time. For the last three weeks we were just packing and just focusing on moving. And you know, during my first trimester of being pregnant, I was just really, really tired and I just wanted to literally just sit in my recliner and watch Family Feud. Call me an old soul, but I love game shows. But anyway, so now I'm back and I'm hoping to be uploading every Sunday and Wednesday again. If not, maybe every Sunday or just every Wednesday. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it's just, it'll just be sporadic and I'll just surprise y'all. How about that? So since I have been gone for so long, I did want to do a teeny little giveaway for y'all. So I, <laughs> this is so bad. I should have returned this, but why not give it away? Why return it when it was the company's mistake of, you know, boxing me too. <laughs> Anyways, I want to give away the second palette I got in my ColourPop order. And it's the All I See is Magic palette. So I'm sure y'all have seen it before. I'll open it really quick. I'm obviously not going to swatch it because one of y'all will be getting this. So it looks like so. I just love the range of shades in here. It's just a very nice palette. You have your mattes and you also have your shimmers and your transition colors as well. So yeah. So all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. I feel like that's the best way to reach out to those of you who enter my giveaways. So follow me on Instagram. I'll leave it linked down below. And also just add a comment down below. Just, um, I don't know, just say like your favorite color. Let's just say your favorite color, I guess. If you comment down below, that's how I enter y'all in the giveaway on the website that I use. So yeah, those are the rules. Comment down below your favorite color, follow me on Instagram, and I will message the winner on Valentine's Day. I thought that's a really good day to, I don't know, just a little, nice little Valentine's Day present, even though you're gonna be getting it after Valentine's Day. But anyways, yes, I'll just message the winner on Valentine's Day, and that's that. So if you wanna see how I got this everyday makeup look, just keep on watching. But before we get going with the video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I did want to mention one thing the video is kind of different it's a voiceover I've never done one before but I got a microphone for Christmas for my husband this is how long it's been since I filmed okay it's been a month holy crap I'm sitting on the floor right now obviously I'm sure you know because I, was, I have no setup I have no setup obviously you know we just moved a week ago so it's like we have pictures on the wall and stuff like that but I have no setup so this is probably where I'll be for a while until I get a setup. Anyways, I was, you know, sitting with my legs curled and I got up to get my microphone and I was literally limping. I am so old. So he got me this, the Yeti microphone. This thing is huge. This is the microphone I'll be using for my voiceover. So I really hope it works. I'm really excited to use it. This will be obviously my first time using it. So bear with me if it doesn't you know sound very good or if i just did something wrong but anyways if you want to know how i got this look just keep on watching okay so first we will definitely start out with moisturizer i'll be using the unique royalty divine daily moisturizer this is the best moisturizer if you have really dry skin and right now my skin is very very dry it's it's crazy it's insane it 
sucks because my makeup never looks the way I want it to because my skin is so dry. Anywho, enough complaining. I'll be using the Confidence in an Eye Eye Cream by It Cosmetics. This is the best under eye cream ever because it's super moisturizing. I'll take all the moisturizer I can get. And for eye primer, I'll be using the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. Screw the NYX eyeshadow base. That thing's a thing of the past. It's probably filled with dust. And of course, you already know, I'll be taping my eyes up before my shadow. And of course, I'll be that basic bitch using the Jaclyn Hill palette. palette excuse me. <laughs> and I'll be first going in with the shade MFEO. And I'll be using my Kylie Jenner fluffy brush in number 15 to focus that as a transition shade. Just fluff it out. Oh, there's my little Bowie. He loves the new house. Oh my gosh, there's just so many windows and he he loves it. Anywho, I'll be going in with the shade Pukey and I will also be focusing that as a transition shade as well and I'll be using the same brush, my Kylie brush. So next I'll be mixing the shades Mocha and Buns together and using my Glamour Dolls brush, I'll be focusing that on the outer V and fluffing it out slightly below that those two transition shades. And those of you with hooded eyes, just go above your fold. Next, I'll be going in with the shade Obsessed. I'll be using my Visanti paddle brush. And like you just saw, I sprayed it with MAC Fix Plus. You already know. Any setting spray will work though if you do not have MAC Fix Plus. I'll be focusing that shade all over my lid. And again, those of you with hooded eyes, go above your natural fold because when you open your eyes, you still want to see that shimmer shade. Next, I'll be going in with the Sage Central Park, and I'll just be going over any harsh edges that the shimmer shade and those matte shades have made. And then I'll be, I was just going to say, I'll be fluffing it out. I'll be fluffing it out with my M510 brush. I'm just going to be blending the shades together with my M510 brush. Next, for primer, I'll be using the Bye Bye Line Serum by IT Cosmetics. This stuff is amazing, especially, again, if you have really dry skin, which I am in that boat right now. Usually my skin's oily, but literally, I've been wanting to be dewy so much because my skin, I, I'm, I'll shut up about my skin. Y'all already know it's dry. Okay, whatever. Next, I'll be using the Born This Way foundation by Too Faced in the shade Swan. I love this foundation so much. It's just such a, I don't know, good coverage. It's just, it's great. I, no complaints. I'll be blending it out with my buffing brush by It Cosmetics. Ooh, <laughs> concealer time. So I'll be using my Wet n Wild concealer and I'll also be using the Kylie Jenner concealer. <laughs> if y'all haven't seen that video, I'll leave it in the little eye above my head. It, yeah, that concealer is way too light for me. So um, I mix them. So I finally found my happy medium to where I can still use it. I mix that concealer with the Wet n Wild and it works perfectly. And I'm just blending it out with my Real Techniques sponge. And it really is a good concealer, the Kylie one. I just have to mix it, but whatever. So next I'll be taking this dirty ass Morphe sponge and dipping it into my Bye Bye Pores by It Cosmetics. I'll just be putting the Bye Bye Pores under my under eye. That's it. Next, I'll be using my Born This Way setting powder for the rest of my face. Oh, and there's my boy again. He just likes to put his little fanny out in the camera view. And I'll just be pressing that into my face with my <laughs> dirty ass Morphe sponge. And of course, I'm listening to Family Feud while I'm doing my face. <laughs> I love Steve Harvey. Anywho, I'll be taking my crown brush, you already know, and sweeping the excess powder away. Next, I'll be going into my Skinny Dip palette by Kylie Cosmetics, and I'll be using the shade Sunkissed for bronzer. And to apply it, I'll be using my Madison Miller Fluffy Brush. My usual. My other brush. If y'all remember, I was using my IBY beauty brush for bronzer. Yeah, no, that, no. I don't even know where that thing is, to tell you the truth. So now with my Benefit Spoolie, I am going to be combing my eyebrows up 
and using my go-to. I love this thing so much. ColourPop. Um, oh gosh, I'm having a little brain fart. It's, I'll link it down below. Let's just say that. But it's from ColourPop. It's an eye pencil. It's like boss something. It's such a good, that's all I use. I just ordered three more. They're only like five bucks and I like to keep them in stock because oh, yeah that's my like my one of my biggest fears when it comes to makeup is running out of eyebrow um <laughs> pencils that would that would be a sight to see let's just say that so yeah I'm kind of pretty much drawing part of my eyebrow on because I've got my mama's eyebrows mm -hmm, they're sparse and I'm doing feather like strokes in the front and then coming it out with a spoolie again and then I'll be setting them puppies into place with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And now I'll be using the Butter Blush by Physicians Formula. It's a very sheer blush. You can't even freaking see it on my pale ass skin. But I just really like it, even though it's super sheer. I don't know. I just like it. Oh, and back in with Jaclyn Hill palette. I always get so excited when I use this thing. <laughs> And I'll be using the shade MFEO again for a transition shade. And then I'll be going in with the shade Chip to finalize the color on the bottom. And I'll be using my, it's like a Luxie paddle brush. I'm not too sure the number, but it's like a little, you know, paddle brush. I love that brush for the shadow under my eye. And then I just blended it out with the Elizabeth Mott blending um, brush. And now I'll be using my It Cosmetics Tightline Mascara. Or, excuse me, not Thailand mascara. I'll be using the No Tug liner. And just set my face, I'll be using the Peach Mist Setting Spray. Really good stuff. Just make sure you shake it, shake it, shake it. And spray a little bit before you spray your face, or else you're gonna get white spots all over your face. Mm -hmm. my lashes, I'll be using the Laura Geller Lash Boss Mascara. This is a very good mascara when it comes to coating the lashes before falsies because it really combs through the lashes and just gets it all prepped for falsies. For highlight, I'll be using Double Gleam by MAC. It's a pretty nice highlight. It's more subtle. It's not really blinding. It's no Nikki Tutorials Glazed Donut highlight by Ofra, but hey, it's still good. Nice highlight. I dig it. For falsies, I'll be using the Kiss eyelashes, and this is in the style Shy. And now I'm just taking my Laura Geller mascara and just going over the um, inner corner real lashes and then the outer real lashes as well, just to fluff my real lashes with the falsies, if that makes any sense at all. Now I am coating the bottom lashes with my It Cosmetics Tightline Mascara. This is all I use for my bottom lashes. It is incredible. It Cosmetics rocks. Now I'm going in with my Peach Blur. You already know I cannot complete my makeup look without this. I'll be using my e.l.f. Fluffy Brush to apply that. I've been really loving using the e.l.f. Fluffy Brush to apply it. It's been, I don't know, I feel like it just puts more on the face. I don't know. Could be all in my head. For lipstick, I'll be going in with the brand Lime Crime, and this is in the shade Cashmere, just a nice nude matte color. Next, I'll be going in with lip gloss. This is Vintage by Jessica Libeskind, and this is in the shade Pink Sequin. Perfect topper for the matte lipstick. And after that, that pretty much completes this tutorial. I really hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know if you liked the voiceover. Um, I enjoyed doing it, but if you like talkthroughs better, just let me know. I hope y'all have a great day, and I hope to see y'all in my next video.